The Fountain, Day 7, The Shadow of Doubt. A couple of weeks ago, I was praying about some things I've been struggling with, and suddenly, almost with my earthly eyes, I saw this giant black figure standing in front of me. It was holding a black leash, and it was attached to a black collar around my neck. I was so startled and taken back that I didn't know what to do. I immediately began praying and asking God what it was, why it was allowed to have a hold on me, and what I should do about it. I break this in Jesus' name, I said, but I knew it wasn't gone. So I kept praying, but I told nobody, not a single soul, because I felt a mixture of shame and fear, wondering all the what's and why's you could imagine. This week, as my kids and I were praying together over their dad's work, one of them said, I had a vision. Then they went on to describe the exact same figure with the leash and collar, but when they saw it in their vision, the collar was around their dad's neck. Imagine my shock as I knew this was definitely God showing us something very significant because none of my children knew anything about what I had previously seen. I told my kids that I had seen the exact same thing over myself, and as it moved, it yanked me around. The figure was so large that it seemed I was practically helpless to resist. They all prayed with me about it, but we really didn't receive any answers except when they prayed over both their father and me, they saw us defeating it with the word of God. They saw Chris with a Bible coming up behind his collared self. And as he wielded the Bible, it turned into a literal sword that broke the collar off. They saw me with the Bible coming up behind my collared self. And when I wielded it, it became a painting of a sword and that obliterated the hold of the black figure. So I continued to pray for days and days until this morning. Here I am at 5 a.m. I woke up seeing that figure and hearing shadow of doubt. I knew I needed to get out of bed right away and share all of this with you because I now know that this is likely a problem for many of us. Today, we are going to break the hold of the shadow of doubt. Jesus said to him, if you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Immediately, the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. Mark 9, verses 23 and 24. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. James 4, verse 7. God, I come before you now. I ask for your forgiveness for any unbelief in my heart and mind. Lord, I do believe. Help my unbelief. Right now, I sever, break, and destroy any hold that the shadow of doubt has over me in Jesus' name. You said, submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil and he will flee from you. And I resist now in Jesus' name. I resist the shadow of doubt. I see that what I doubt is not you. I fully believe in you and all you do, but it's me that I doubt. I doubt my abilities. I doubt that I can fulfill that which you have called me to. I doubt the influence you have said that I would have for your kingdom. I doubt my own self. Today, I stand before the shadow of doubt and say, I curse you, doubt. I bind you and curse you to the dry places. I am no longer held by your whims. I am no longer at your mercy. I stand before you in the spirit of the living God and say, leave me and never return. I was bought with a price and created to accomplish many great things for the kingdom of God. I will not be thwarted. I will not be defeated. I will not relent until I see all accomplished that God has laid aside for me, not for my glory, but for his. The Father of lights surrounds me as a shield right now, and I break any and all agreement with doubt. I stand in faith. Thank you, God, for loving me enough to show me this spirit, and I ask for you to fully defeat it. Lead me in boldness and certainty today and every day that follows. In Jesus' name, 